I have absolutely no problem with immigration. I think it's great that people can move to better countries from worse countries. I have absolutely no problem with countries taking in refugees. I think it's great that countries can take people in from places where they might die if they don't get help. I do have a problem with being extremely stupid about immigration and refugees, and a lot of Western governments are extremely stupid when it comes to immigration and refugees. The stupidest thing that Western governments do here is that they completely ignore the extraordinarily dangerous, violent, misogynistic ideas of some of the people they bring in. And once they bring in people with extraordinarily dangerous, violent, misogynistic ideas, they do nothing whatsoever to challenge those ideas. Instead, Western nations regard it as evil and immoral to challenge the extraordinarily dangerous, violent, misogynistic ideas. Challenging other people's ideas would be a form of cultural imperialism. It would conflict with the multicultural utopia we're trying to build. Who are we to say that our values are better than theirs? Who are we to judge their moral and religious beliefs? Never forget, when the people who make the rules get stupid, other people die. The people who make the rules don't die, other people die. The Associated Press reports, German prosecutors said Tuesday they have charged two Afghan brothers with murder over the July killing of their sister, whom they allegedly wanted to punish for her Western way of life. The men, aged 26 and 22, and identified only as Syed H and Sayed H in line with German privacy rules, maybe their last name is Hitler, are accused of luring their 34-year-old sister to a meeting in Berlin on July 13th, then choking and strangling her and cutting her throat. They choked her, strangled her, and cut her throat in the name of Allah. Prosecutors in the capital charged that they took a taxi to a station later that day with her body in a suitcase, then traveled to Bavaria by train and drove to a site near the elder brother's home where they buried her. So they choked her, strangled her, cut her throat, stuffed her body into a suitcase, took a train ride, and buried her in the name of Allah near the elder brother's comfortable home in Germany. The indictment states that the men wanted to punish their sister for her Western-oriented way of life, which did not correspond to their archaic ideas of honor and morals and their image of women, prosecutors said in a statement. Wow, newsflash. German prosecutors just called Islamic values archaic. No take backs now. In particular, prosecutors added, they weren't prepared to accept that she had divorced her husband, to whom she was married when she was 16, after violent incidents and had a new relationship. The two brothers have been in custody since August 3rd. So she had an arranged marriage when she was 16, making her a senior citizen by Muhammad's standards, her husband was violently abusive, as Surah 4, verse 34 of the Quran allows. The family moved to Germany. She realized in Germany that she didn't have to put up with the sort of violent abuse the Quran promotes, so she divorced her husband and started dating someone who wasn't violently abusive. Then she found out that even though she had moved to Germany, the rules of Islam still applied because Western governments do nothing to challenge the rules of Islam, apart from arresting murderers after they slaughter their victims in the name of Allah. Like so many other families living in Sharia-compliant hellholes, the H family wanted to get out of Afghanistan. But even though you can take the jihadis out of Afghanistan, you can't always take Afghanistan out of the jihadis. Think about it. When these brothers were in Afghanistan, they said, we need to get out of here, Syed. We need to get out of Afghanistan. But where are we going to go, Syed? Should we go to another Islamic country? Are you insane? Why would we go to another Islamic country? Who in the world wants to move to an Islamic country? No, let's go to a Western country. Okay, cool. Germany just agreed to take us in. But once we're in Germany, how should we live? I know, we'll live like we're still in Afghanistan.
they brought the values of their fake prophet with them to Germany. Instead of challenging the values of the most obvious false prophet in history, German politicians and journalists praised and honored and glorified the most obvious false prophet in history. And people keep dying because of it. There must be something in the drinking water in Germany. Something that makes the leaders want to destroy their own people and to take the rest of the world with them. This is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah?